AQA, A-level physics, uh, medical physics. I'm doing some videos to help you with medical physics now. It's just a little introduction to it. So paper three, two hours, 32% of the A-level. So it's worth as much as the other two papers, uh, 80 marks. Uh, 45 marks is on uh, kind of practical stuff, data analysis. 35 marks is on the option topic and you may have chosen to do medical physics as your option topic. Now look at this, this is an operating theater and there's gonna be doctors in there, there's gonna be nurses in there, but look at all that equipment. Who designed it? Uh, who knows how it works? I mean, the doctor hopefully will know what it does, but who actually knows how it works? Who produced it uh, and who maintains it? Who looks after it? All the different techniques that they use, the imaging techniques, uh, who developed them? You know, how much do doctors and nurses actually know about radioisotopes? There will be in the hospital a medical physics department and there will be people in there who work with doctors and nurses to develop equipment and to develop techniques. Uh, a very, very important part of medicine is medical physics. Uh, it's not too mathematical. There's a couple of equations in there, but uh, nothing that you shouldn't be able to handle if you do A-level maths. Uh, obviously, lots of links with A-level biology. Saying that, most of the biology is actually GCSE. Uh, a good preparation for, you can do a medical physics degree. Uh, bioengineering, very, very interesting. Things like how does a, you know, a kidney dialysis machine work? Um, radiography, uh, optometry, which is to do with your eyes, etc. Audiology, lots and lots of other health related uh, degrees and courses, etc. It'd be a good preparation for. Uh, this is what it will cover. We'll talk about the eye, structure and function, uh, defects, use of lenses, uh, the ear, same thing again, sound intensity, the decibel scale, uh, defects of the ear, uh, ECGs, electrocardiograms, uh, non-ionizing imaging, ultrasound endoscopy, uh, magnetic resonance imaging, uh, and also uh, ionizing imaging, if you like, which is X-rays, CTs, which is basically just lots of X-rays in slices, uh, making image using radioactive materials, high energy X-rays, and then comparing the different techniques. So it's, it's interesting, you know, even if you're not going into health, it is an interesting one to do. There won't be a great deal of practical work in it, but uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy doing it.